When you're driving down the highway behind a massive semi-truck, you might notice those thick rubber flaps hanging just behind its rear wheels. They don't look like much, just plain pieces of rubber or plastic swinging slightly with the motion of the truck. But these simple devices, called mud flaps or splash guards, actually serve a critical purpose. So what are they really for? Do they play a bigger role than we realize? Let's take a closer look right here on History of Simple Things. To understand the why, we need to look at what happens when a truck drives, especially at high speeds or in wet and muddy conditions. The tires on these trucks are huge with deep treads. That's great for traction and control, but those same treads act like giant shovels. They can pick up rocks, dirt, snow, road salt, water, anything lying on the pavement, and fling it backward at alarming speeds. Imagine a small rock caught in the tread of a spinning truck tire. At 60 miles per hour, that rock can become a projectile, shooting back with enough force to chip a windshield or worse, injure someone. And this isn't just theory. Insurance companies and drivers alike report thousands of incidents each year caused by road debris kicked up by vehicles. That's where mud flaps come in. Mud flaps act like a shield. They hang right behind the wheels and intercept that flying debris before it has a chance to hit your car or your face if you're on a motorcycle. Think of them as the truck's way of saying, hey, I'm doing my part not to blast you with road shrapnel. And it's not just rocks. Water spray is another big issue. When it rains, the tires kick up a fine mist, sometimes called tire spray or road spray, which can seriously reduce visibility for the drivers behind. If you've ever driven behind a truck in the rain, you've seen it. It's like driving into a fog bank. Mud flaps, especially the wider ones used on commercial trucks, help reduce that spray, improving visibility for everyone else on the road. It's not a perfect solution, but it helps a lot. There are also different types of mud flaps designed for different needs. Basic rubber flaps are the most common. They're affordable, durable, and easy to replace. Then there are aerodynamic mud flaps, which are designed with grooves or holes to reduce drag while still blocking debris. These can actually help improve fuel efficiency, which is a big deal for long haul trucks that burn thousands of gallons of diesel each year. They strike a balance between protection and performance, making them a smart upgrade for fleets looking to cut costs without compromising safety. In colder regions, you might even see heated mud flaps that prevent ice from building up. Yes, heated. It might sound like overkill, but in sub-zero temperatures, ice buildup can weigh down the flaps and make them less effective or even cause them to break off entirely. In many places, mud flaps aren't just a helpful accessory. They're the law. Different states and countries have their own regulations about the size, placement, and even material of mud flaps on commercial trucks. Some laws require them to be no more than a certain distance from the ground, usually around eight inches, to maximize their effectiveness. Failure to comply can result in fines or even cause a truck to fail inspection. And if debris from a truck causes damage or injury, the trucking company could be held liable. So mud flaps aren't just nice to have. They're a legal necessity designed to keep roads safer for everyone. 
Now, you might be wondering, if mud flaps are so great, why don't all cars have them? Well, some do. You'll see them more often on SUVs, pickup trucks, and vehicles that do a lot of off-road driving. For everyday sedans and compact cars, though, manufacturers often skip them for design or cost reasons. And while they can still be added as an aftermarket upgrade, the benefit isn't always as dramatic. Regular cars don't kick up debris with the same force that a semi-truck does. Still, if you live in an area with a lot of gravel roads or snow, adding mud flaps to your personal vehicle might help protect your paint job and reduce mess. So what happens when a truck doesn't have mud flaps? Well, you'll know, you'll feel it, you'll see it in the form of rocks bouncing off your hood or water blinding your windshield. Without those flaps, the debris has a clear path straight toward the vehicles behind. It's like driving through a storm you didn't sign up for. And while that may not always cause an accident, it definitely raises the risk. It turns a normal drive into a potential hazard, especially for motorcyclists cyclists or drivers of smaller vehicles. In the wrong moment, even a small piece of flying debris can mean a shattered windshield, a lost balance, or a split-second decision with serious consequences. At the end of the day, mud flaps might not be the flashiest part of a truck, but they're one of the most important when it comes to safety. They quietly do their job catching debris, reducing spray, and protecting the people behind the truck. So the next time you see a truck roll by with those humble rubber guards flapping behind it, give them a little respect. They might just be the reason your windshield is still intact. Because when it comes to sharing the road, even the smallest barriers can make a huge difference. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.